Okay. This week, we have some retro tech. This one's a little different because it's not exactly old, but it works with things that are old. So here it is. Um, a long time ago, back in the 70s, this was a, I guess, one of the first versions of crowdsourcing ideas from Sony. It's a little truck that you put on a record, and it spins around the record. Record stays still. Truck drives around, and it plays what's on the record. And uh, this is uh, the statement on the website of the, from the folks who make a modern one now. And it says, instead of a stationary needle, the new moves around the surface of a stationary record. Record player would have built-in speakers. It was developed for promotional use only, and it was first displayed as part of an exhibited internal Sony idea contest established to encourage all employees to adapt unconventional thinking. It came complete with both motor, enabling the car to run around the surface and a, uh, of the record, and a cartridge and its undercarriage to ensure the needle remain within the groove. So um, there's a, a company in Japan that makes the record runner. And you can get this. And it's officially licensed. This is really officially licensed from VW. They did all the right things. And uh, it, doesn't even it looks like a, a VW, car. Like, it looks like yeah. a you know, the little van. But then the secret's underneath. That's the needle. And you put the batteries in. Yeah. And uh, we have our own record here at Adafruit. So we decided, well, and let's you, make sure it works. You tried it out. And we tried it out. That's retro. And of course, a warning probably only use it on records that you don't care about. Um, if you were, could you cared about, you would put it flat on the table, anyways. Yeah, or put a car on it. All right.